All right, everybody, we're here in the shop. Uh, we're continuing our lecture about um, boat safety. And I wanted to uh, show everybody my boat bag and the personal things that I usually bring with me. Um, before you go out, some things that you may want to just think about that you normally would bring with you anyway on the water, nice pair of sunglasses, polarized and wide-brimmed hat or a baseball hat. A um, couple of things that I usually bring anytime I go out on the water, believe it or not, I usually bring a wire. I bring a Leatherman, uh, gets me out of a ton of situations. And then usually I bring a little flashlight, uh, a little, little AAA flashlight. I think this one's got a strobe on it. Um, I'll fool around with that more later. Uh, the other thing I usually have clipped to my boat bag is a carabiner uh, with a spare boat plug on it. Um, you need those. And then usually I've got a little cotter pin here for uh, a hitch, a little hitch pin. And I've got emergency whistle. Um, you need to have an emergency whistle on board uh, at all times. And then the carabiner itself is actually very handy. You can clip a water bottle to it or whatever. And then I've got some 550 cord here all braided up. Usually I just clip it right to my boat bag. Boat bag is just a $5 bag that you can get at Harbor Freight. Um, they sell a bunch of them. Let's take a look in here. Um, I gotta tell you, I'm a bit of a prepper. So uh, this is the boat bag that I grab well and go. First thing is, usually I have a fire extinguisher in my boat bag, a little tiny one, a little Super 6, all outboard driven vessels like this one need to have a fire extinguisher that's up to date right in the boat itself, okay? That's the other piece of, oh, that reminds me, the other piece of safety gear that's on the boat itself, right? Laying your kill switch or the dead man. Um, a good set of oars in case your motor fails uh, should be on your vessel no matter what. Also on your vessel no matter what should be a visual distress flag. This is just an old, sorry, it's an old uh, staff t-shirt. I know I ripped it up. Um, it's a nice bright neon color. You can use this to flag someone down, right? Um, or you can use it as a rag or if you want, you're really hot, you put it, you know, um, put in the water, put it on your head. I've done that before. Um, got some alcohol wipes, some fuses um, for the truck, or in this case, the electro fishing boat. Uh, I've got another cigarette lighter here. Um, I've got some zip ties, um, really important. You can use zip ties um, as a little fuel clamp or um, a bunch of uses for these. You, you never know when you're gonna need them. Also, I've got a little um, tiny $3 flashlight. It's got three modes. There's that mode, then you press it, there's a low mode, and then there's a strobe. Um, you can actually take these, and if you're out at night, you can duct tape them to the front of your boat and make a little uh, navigation light on the front of your boat. Or if all of that fails, uh, here's a Siluma stick. You can actually um, put this on the front of your boat with a little duct tape, and you can actually create a little navigation light with a Siluma stick. These things last for years and years and years. Uh, when I'm out on the water, I also like to have just a pair of binoculars. These are not a really great pair of um, like marine binoculars like on a big boat, but they're like 10 power. Nice little set of Bushnell binoculars. A uh, little first aid kit in a tin. There's some uh, band-aids and alcohol swabs in there. Um, there's also a little fishing kit and it sounds like, I'm not going to open that up because there's a million things in here, but you could practically live out of here for a while. Um, when my son was born, I started carrying an umbrella. This is mostly for him. I, I wear a raincoat, but he likes to get out of the rain. Um, got some uh, electrical tape, another roll of electrical tape, bigger flashlight for navigation at night, a little C-cell. It's a really powerful mag light, um, really good. A couple of different screwdrivers, uh, flathead and a uh, Phillips. And this is a spark plug wrench. Uh, you should have a spark plug wrench and you should have spark plugs with you, right? Spark plugs for your engine. You may need to special order them. Um, usually I've got some sunscreen. And what else do we have in here? Usually I have a pair of gloves, a crescent wrench, some uh, marine silicone for plugging holes, um, a really big um, uh, zip tie. Then usually I've got an emergency blanket, some bug spray, Mora, uh, usually a stainless steel knife for cutting rope. Um, stainless steel is good, uh, it's a $10 knife. 
Um, the, the knife is really good. Got a, uh, this is my grandfather's old hammer. You never know when you're gonna need a hammer. I've got a toe strap in case I break down. Um, you can clip this right onto the handle of the boat in the back, and it's a 20 foot toe strap. Uh, I've been towed more times than I would care to tell you about. Usually I got about 100 feet of 550 cord that I can use uh, as a spare anchor. Um, usually I've got a multimeter to test my battery and I've got a spare bungee cord. Um, that's about it. The only other thing, piece of safety gear that I would recommend you have is a good anchor that's capable of um, holding down the boat in a good wind with an anchor rope that is about one third of the distance that you would normally anchor in. In other words, a third, the rope is a third longer than you would normally anchor in. So if you're going out in 100 feet of water, uh, you would want 133 feet of anchor rope. Yeah, the last thing I wanted to show you was uh, the socket set. Actually, um, this is one that was specifically bought for the boat. It's uh, just a, it's got some of my wife's hair in it. <laughs> it's a socket set and it's also got a whole bunch of, um, um, you know, bit, bit drivers and a, and a bit driver um, attached right into the side of it. So it's a pretty good socket set. I think it was like 25 bucks. Um, uh, definitely a good investment, but all of this stuff is dedicated boat bag stuff. So you, when you go out on the water, whether it's my little outboard or my big um, powerboat, I always bring uh, a boat bag.